Hi, boys and girls. Yoda here. And uh, I wore my Star Wars shirt here because, you know, I love Star Wars. And I'm recording this a little earlier just so I could wear this shirt and read with Yoda. All right. So we are starting a new text set. And it's about feelings. And I know with all that's going on, we have a lot of feelings. Not only kids, but adults too. And I mean, we're not able to go to school and we have feelings about that. We aren't able to play with our friends or see our friends. We have big feelings about that. So we're going to read several books about feelings. And I hope that it helps you deal with all these feelings that you might be having right now. And they could be happy, great feelings, or they may not be such great feelings, like make you feel not so great inside and sad and angry and frustrated. And I really hope that these books help you. So I'm going to cover up this title <coughs> here. And I want you to look at this picture. Okay. How do you think this girl feels? Hmm. How can you tell? Molly Bang is the author and illustrator of this book. The title is called When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry. What could make Sophie feel so angry? What do you think? Let's read and find out what makes Sophie so angry. I'll try to kind of show you the pictures and read all at the same time. And you will have to just watch it later or something. Sophie was busy playing when her sister grabbed Gorilla. My turn! <clears throat> no, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It is her turn now, Sophie. I see here, it says no. As her sister snatched Gorilla away, Sophie fell over the truck. Oh boy. As a good reader, are you thinking about how she might be feeling? How you might be feeling? Oh, is Sophie ever angry now? Whoa. That matches the picture on the front, doesn't it? So angry. She kicks. She screams. She wants to smash the world to smithereens. And this is smash. When you smash something, what happens? It breaks into many little pieces. The word smithereens means many little pieces. <clears throat> she roars a red, red roar. My goodness. Look at that roar. Roar. Sophie is a volcano ready to explode. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, this says explode. It's a good reader. Are you thinking about what might be coming on the next page? She runs. Pa bam Guessing that's maybe the door. She runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore. Then, for a little while, 
she cries. You ever cry when you get angry? Now she sees the rocks, the trees, and ferns. She hears a bird. Notice the things around Sophie. Where is she? What do you notice about Sophie's body? And this says, tweet, little bird. She comes to the old beech tree. She climbs. Wow, look at that tree. How do you think Sophie is feeling now? Why do you think she wants to climb the tree? She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. The wide world comforts her. It says the wide world comforts Sophie. What do you think that means? Sure to tell someone. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down. Oh, it's a big tree. And heads for home. And it says chirp, chirp, tweet, woot, squeak. I'm going to show you each page. Beautiful. The house is warm and smells good. Everyone is glad she's home. I'm home! Her mama's arm. Everything's back together again. Puzzle. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. Look at Sophie now. How does she feel? What do you notice about Sophie's face and body? What color do you see around her body? So that kind of outline there. And this says purr. Now, I want you to think about when Sophie gets angry. What does she do when she feels angry? Let's look. Mm-hmm. That's right. She kicks. She screams. She roars. Look at all this color around her. It's red. And then she runs. That's right. What does Sophie do to calm herself down? That's right. She runs until she can't, or for a little while, she cries. So, she, oh, I didn't miss that page. So she runs and runs until she can't run anymore. And then she walks through the woods. What does she do after that? That's right. She climbs the tree. 
Now, when you get angry, do you act like Sophie or differently from Sophie? Maybe ask your parents. They can even tell you. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then how do you act if you act differently? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then what do you think about Sophie's behavior in this story? She gets angry and she just wants to wreck everything, doesn't she? Yes. And, you know, I think a lot of us worry when she runs away. At least moms and dads do. And maybe you did, too, about running. Yeah, that's that can be kind of worrisome. That is maybe safe for her and where she lives. But most of us, that wouldn't be safe at all. And so that might not be safe. And then... You know, she could have gotten hurt or something. So most of us will handle this a little differently than Sophie does to be safe. do not always be safe. All right. An author always has a reason to write a book, just like Molly Bang did. Okay. Why do you think Molly Bang wrote this book? What do you think she wanted you to learn? Yeah, I hope you're sharing with somebody. All right. Now, I think she wanted you to see there are many ways to calm down when you're angry. That's what I think. We all have different ideas. You may have thought of something different. Now, I want to show you a couple pages here. And um, let's see here. So I want to show you some colors here. Okay, look at this color. And this color around her. See a lot of red, don't we? Reds and oranges. Now, do they change in this book? The colors around Sophie, do they change in this book? How do they change to show how Sophie's feeling? Yeah, so we see a lot of red. Now look, ah, when she starts to calm down, she's still a little red around, do you see that? Red and orange. Now watch as we go here, see it's a lighter orange, almost yellow. Just climbing down. Now look when she enters the home, what color do you see? Yellow, that's right. And do you see the colors around here? Green. <clears throat> now look at this one. Yeah, we see some blues and purples. Those are more calm colors where the reds and the oranges are a strong feeling, usually anger. But those yellows and greens and blues are usually more of a calm color. And I really like how the author and illustrator Molly Bang showed that. All right, so we are going to um, do phonics for today. So I don't have a reading about writing um, to do with this book, um, but I do want you to think about some different ways and talk to your family. What are some different ways that you can calm down when you're angry or frustrated, those big feelings, because I know we're having a lot of big feelings right now. So what are some things that you can do? We know that running, at least out of the house, is not really a good idea. It's not safe. But what are some things you can do that are safe? Talk with your family. Discuss. Talk about what kinds of things can you do to calm down? All right. Well, I hope you and your family have a good discussion about how to bring those strong feelings down. And sometimes it's just, at least for me, it's taking a break. Or even asking, you know, hey, Tom, do you want to just go for a little walk with me? 
I need to calm down or I'll go out and walk around my property where it's safe. But even sometimes it's just taking a little break. And so I hope that you and your family can come up with some ideas for you with those big feelings. All right. So I want you after this to then go back to Seesaw and work on the phonics um, task that I have. I think you guys are really going to like it. Something new. All right, guys. It's great to see you. And Yoda says bye-bye too. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.